So speaking of uh, digitalization of business, today we're talking about pandemic. We're talking about the world after. We're talking about things that uh, were not digitized for years, thinking that there's no urgency to invest there. Okay, how do you see the whole automation world changing and how do you want to be part of it? What's new plan? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I, I you know, I wish we didn't have to have a pandemic to, uh, to drive a digital transformation agenda, right? That's, that's a little harsh. Yes. A little yeah, harsh driver. Yeah. For we should everybody. go without uh, saying, right. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, what we're seeing from a contract perspective point of view is there still are an awful lot of contracts that are, you know, they're pieces of paper signed with one of these. Right. Yep. And, uh, that's particularly true in uh, you know small and medium-sized banks in the U.S. Uh, often, if you are applying for a loan, you have to physically go to the bank, physically prove who you are, physically sign the document uh, that's printed out in a printer that sits behind you know the the person that you're dealing with, and all of those businesses pro business processes really can't function in this environment. So that is forcing I think everyone large and small to rethink well if we can't actually be physically close to the customer for things like kyc and signature then we have to do things differently and i mean for, luckily for those companies the solutions exist they just haven't deployed them um, so uh, uh, docusign is an investor in clause uh, docusign are the leader in in e-signature so for, for the last uh, couple of months, a lot of the work that we've been doing is helping companies move from just, I, I shouldn't say just, move from e-signature, which is great. You know, it's kind of a necessary yep. prerequisite, but how do I take the results of e-signature and automatically drive it into my back office systems? So I've gathered all this data in an electronic form. It's been digitally signed, you know, as a PDF. But we want to grab all of that data off the PDF and send it to the back office system automatically. Um, and th there's still an awful lot of low hanging fruit there. You know, the, the reality is, and you probably know this and have seen this is, you know, there's a lot of this swivel chair business process, right? It's like, Oh, Irene has signed the document. Now I need to type all of those details into this other system so that the back office processes can, can, uh, can then take place. And that's costly, error prone, and it's not realistic in this environment where... You know what, what you mentioned before we even talk about really widespread of blockchain systems, ecosystem platforms and players, this first step is kind of move businesses in a way that they do less of the swivel chair operations. And I guess they need to, right, this is the first necessary step, which will be pain, I'm sure, for many businesses, because this is not what they plan to do. Right. But at the same time, as they gain confidence, as we know, with process automation, right, as the one small success comes. So it should not be a huge, diff you know, a difficulty to move forward. But this is amazing how, yes, how pandemics move, move this trend. And yes, I'm with you. I wish it was done a little bit different. So what can yeah. we talk about in terms of uh, front end processes and back end processes? Because once you start looking at contracts, of course, you're discovering step by step how many necessary operational steps are there. And are you advising your clients? What's your kind of whole approach there on automation? Because I know you are about contracts, but there got to be something more you can do for your clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the con I mean, contract management is, is really interesting. You know, you and I both know business process automation very, very well. And that's sort of the domain of the back office uh, by and large. Uh, whereas contract lifecycle management is a, kind of a well-defined category. Um, but it traditionally, it really sort of, it starts with uh, perhaps drafting the contract, then it, you go through negotiating the contract, redlining. Um, there's a lot of document workflow, you know, maybe before I can send out a contract, it has to be approved by you, you know, because you're my manager or I'm using a specific type of clause in my contract and you're, you're in the legal department, you have to approve the use of that clause. But traditionally, it's, it almost ends at signature. It's like, oh, yes, we signed the contract. We're done. 
And then what happens is the contract gets thrown over the wall to IT or the operations team, who then have to swivel chair and kind of, oh no, now we need to parameterize SAP because this was a, you know, this was an enterprise license agreement and we now need to set up, you know, all the rate tables uh, in SAP or whatever it is. So what we, essentially what we allow you to do is to uh, grab that data digitally that you've signed and move it automatically into the back office. And you can either do that through parameterization, you know, so you might have a, an existing pricing engine that you just need to configure based on values in the contract, or you can actually write logic itself that's sort of attached to the contract and runs 